Hello everyone and welcome to my live. Um, I haven't been live in almost two weeks which is wild. I have just been so busy with coaching so you guys are amazing. You guys are keeping me so busy but we have a lot of success stories in our Quantum Leap community so I'm going to continue to share those. Um, so I posted a, a video, a live, or I'm sorry not a live, I posted a TikTok about someone that was talking about how they manifested their exactly what they wrote by using the list method and I got such a great response from you guys but I was actually shocked to discover that not a lot of people know what the list method is and that is literally one of the first things that I ever did when I first discovered consciously manifesting and it works 100% of the time. Hi Glam my mans, how are you? Um, so now I want to say when it comes to the list method, I love it. Okay, if you're a client of mine, you know I love it. Um we can use the list method with manifesting a specific person, and that's what we're gonna talk about in this live because most people that follow me, they're manifesting an SP. <laughs> But I wanted to also say, guys, that you can use this for a career. I use the list method and I use visualization too. But I would, when I wanted to manifest becoming a manifestation coach, I wrote down the qualities of the job that I wanted. So I wanted to help people. I wanted to be able to travel. I wanted to be able to just use my computer and do coaching. Uh, I wanted to coach people online that implied that I could, that, um, I would write down just need Wi-Fi and a computer, helping people, making X amount of dollars. And I listed these qualities, manifesting people that are spiritual, that I'm helping, that are resonating with the words that I say. I sat down and I wrote a list of exactly what I wanted in my job. And I did the same thing for a specific person before. Okay, so we're going to use the example of a specific person. Okay, it's very, very easy. Um, all you do is I want you to sit down with yourself, okay? I want you to grab a pen and paper. It doesn't matter where you're at. It doesn't matter who you're with. It doesn't matter what the pen and paper looks like, okay? Manifestation, the basis of everything is a thought, okay? And I want you to write down who your perfect partner is without limiting yourself, okay? So, for example, um... You can write down physical things that are of a physical appearance. So I, with the very first time that I ever did this, I wrote down very specific things like height, eye color, that I wanted someone who was dual speak um, two languages, was bilingual. I find that very attractive. Um, someone who, um, and I was very particular about these physical, which was a little shallow, okay? Not saying that we can't have that. I also wrote down things like super passionate, loving, um spiritual respectful loyal right but the second time that i wrote the list i wrote down i was focused more on qualities than physical appearance and i just included in the list the second time that i was very physically attracted to the person and they gave me butterflies i wasn't like so specific like i was the first time because the first time was very very specific <laughs> I don't want to say what because it'll be a little too much personal information, but it was very, very specific, but it did manifest and rather quickly. And I had forgotten what I wrote. I met this person and they were like persisting in meeting me. And at first I was like, no, like, I don't think I want to, you know, get to know you. And they just kept persisting. And then I ended up hanging out with them. And one day I'm flipping through my journal and I went back to my list and I was like, oh my God. I was like, boom, yes, 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 yes. And they had every single quality, so it was wild. So caution, guys, when you write the list, you're going to get exactly what you write. So I want you to sit with yourself and be very specific. Don't limit yourself. You are the creator of your reality. You can have exactly what you want in a partner, okay? And this is a very easy way to manifest exactly what you want so um for example um let's do one together okay if you were manifesting a romantic partner you would write things like someone who's kind someone who's caring someone who's passionate someone who's hardworking. these are just examples okay these are things that i would write on my list if it doesn't resonate with you you don't take it if not 
write your own, right? All of us, we're all, we're all um, part of consciousness, but we're experiencing our own state of conscious, or we're experiencing our own 3D based on our own state of state of consciousness, also known as you have free will, you can write whatever you want. We're going to do an example together. You just grab, a, someone's asking, how do you write the list? All you do is take a pen and paper. You can write at the top. I'm so happy and grateful that I have this um, committed boyfriend or girlfriend, or I'm, I'm married to this person and they have these qualities, you know, or whatever your end is. Okay. If your end is relationship, then you can just write, I'm so happy that I'm in a committed relationship with this man or woman who has, because we're writing it as if we already have it guys. We're not writing the list to then get to experience it in the 3d. Okay. And this is where a lot of people make mistakes with manifesting. We're writing the list because we already have this. We're take a time is not linear. So we're so essentially this is the analogy that I've been using lately. We're opening the book. Oh my God, Marcy, thank you for the crown. How are you? <laughs> thank you. Been binge watching your lives on YouTube. Love you, Queen. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Oh my God, you guys are so amazing. I love you guys. Hi, Hillary. Hi, my love. Thank you for coming. Anyways, I forgot where I was at. Sorry. Sorry, guys. We're writing the list as if we already have it. Oh, I have to respond to Vanessa because Vanessa is such a good supporter. I always see you commenting. Vanessa said, Sherry, I wanted to thank you for your content. It truly changed my perspective last year. I love you so much, girl. I have to respond to you. You are such a supporter. Your name, and by the way, girl, I might have said this before, but your name sounds like you'd be a movie star. Vanessa Milet. Are we all on the same page as that, everyone? It literally sounds like she could be a celebrity. <laughs> Hi, Summer. Hi, Gina. All my girls are in here. Priyanka's in here now. I'm so loved today. I know you guys missed me. It's been two weeks since I've been live. <laughs> I was able to manifest moving to Cali. Yes, I'm so happy for you. And that's the journey, guys. It starts with most of us fall into this by being heartbroken, right? And we're just searching for anything to take the pain away. But we discover our power. And then we manifest moving money, job, career, vacations, friendships, you know, there's we're limitless, literally. So getting back to the list, guys, because some people are just coming in, grab a pen and paper, you write at the top, Oh, I love being in this relationship or I love being in this marriage or I'm so thankful, whatever resonates with you, that I have this partner that has. And you, all you do is go boom, 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 boom. So we're going to do it together, okay? You would, I personally, I would write things like they're loving, okay? They're passionate. I'm a very passionate person, so I have to have a partner that's passionate. Um, sexual is a big one for me right that would be something on my list i know know all the ladies in here i know the ladies in here are agreeing with me because i know a lot of you on a one-to-one -one basis um uh caring kind person family oriented thoughtful loyal honest secure with themselves confident right you just go through and you write down all of these qualities that are important to you again i'm getting all the crowns today thank you guys <laughs> You write down um, all of these qualities that are important to you. If you want to then add in, like let's say for example, you're like, I just have to have someone who has tattoos, right? And just, you know, that's what you want. You can write down has tattoos or I just have to have someone that's, you know, blonde hair, whatever. It's, if that's what you want, you can have it. Don't feel shameful about it. Don't feel like you're being superficial. You can have exactly what you want. Now, if you write the list, right? So you write the list, right? You sit down, you look at it. You, I'll often go back to it like a day or two later and see if I want to add anything. Do I want to tweak anything? Does it need fine tuning? I do that for everything, right? Then once you're done writing the list, um, you just leave it knowing that you already have it. So you're not leaving it thinking, I'm going to get to experience this one day. You're like, oh, God, I have this person. And then if you want to go back to it, and just read it in a state of, oh, I'm so grateful that I have this husband or boyfriend, right? Then that's exactly, um, oh, Marie's, Marie's sticking up for me in the comments. My Marie is in here. Hi, my love. Um, anyways, then that's literally all it takes. There's so many success stories with the list method. Like I said, I myself have done it in experience. It was, it was wild how on point it was with the physical appearance part, especially because I was very specific on that. 
Um, so that was wild as well as my clients. Now I wanted to just quickly, I've spoken about this before guys, but I wanted to, to just quickly add in that I also like to use the list method. I talked about this before. I'm going to talk about it again. Amber said, oh my God. Hi, Amber. How are you? My love. Hi. I didn't realize that was you at first. All my girls are in here today. Um, Janelle, I know you know the answer to that. Janelle says, I feel like I'm bothering SP today. You're only bothering him if you occupy that state. You have to go into, um, um, he loves being around me. I'm such a joy. I'm so positive. I'm so happy. You have to embody that state of consciousness because remember, that's what's getting pushed out. I love sending so much love. Oh my God, I'm sending love to you. Um... I seriously love you. Amber's amazing energy. Okay, um, and follow her, you guys. This is one of my spiritual friends. I'm going to at her. Amber first in command. <laughs> um, oh, last thing I want to say. When there's another way that I like to use the list method. Also, when you sit down with a pen and paper, guys, it's distracting you. So another way that I like to use the list method. And I've talked about um, this before. Thank you, Amber. <laughs> um... I've talked about this before is I have I call it a self-concept revamp so I'll do another live probably this weekend on the self-concept revamp only okay but just a quick little splash I'm gonna add it in because I'm about to about to sign off I want another way we can do the list method is I want you to write three lists so again grab the pen and paper and write three separate lists one and Janelle you can do this now one is who is your SP to you? And list all of those qualities. So for example, choosing me, loves being around me, honest and loyal, all of the above. Two, who are you when you're in the relationship? And I've, did a, I've done a TikTok on this before. And three, and most importantly, who are you as a woman in general? And you can do the third list just in relationships if that's what you're currently triggered by. So if you're feeling like super anxious and triggered, like, they're they're external they're separate from you they're not part of you not within you remember because everyone is consciousness you can or you can just focus on who you are as a woman in general and that's the most important part of the self-concept is i am the man or woman that is always chosen is committed to is loved is worthy always gets what she wants right um people love being around me um, you know, embody that self-concept. And I want you to realize that you're then choosing to flip the page to that spot in the book where you are that person. So we're not waiting for anything. As soon as we, you embody the I am, that is who you are. And you're, you're stepping into your power immediately. You're shifting into that parallel reality immediately. So I love you guys. I'm going to go to bed. It's 10.08. Um, you guys have been so amazing to me lately. I had two more success stories today that I'm going to post. Um, so look for those in the next couple days. Um, I'm going to post this live replay on my YouTube. And I want to announce um, that tomorrow at 8 p.m. I'm going to put a, um, a live countdown. I'm going to be going live with Lane. I'm sure you guys might know her. Lane Solutions, another Law of Assumption coach. We are going to be talking about messing with the middle or like what go what happens when you're in the middle and what to do what not to do and kind of like different perspectives from both of us being law of assumption coaches so tomorrow lane solutions um we are going live at 8 p.m thank you sweetest flowers <laughs> um, love you guys this will be updated on my youtube youtube name is share bear if you guys could follow me there I would really appreciate it. I'm still trying to grow the channel and it is growing and I'm so grateful and I love you guys so much. Um, see you tomorrow. Ah. Oh my God.